tonight, a warning about a major shift in our weather. It is possible we could see significant rainfall later this week as the remnants of a storm in the Gulf of Mexico regains strength. This is something Jim is watching very closely. And that scenario, Shannon, is becoming a little more likely even tonight. Here are some potential rainfall projections for the days ahead from the National Weather Service. Models show through Sunday the remnants of the storm system. Harvey could reform and head into Texas and uh, counties east of Austin mainly uh, projected at amounts up to, you know, maybe seven to 10 inches or so. Now, let me talk about what's going on here locally as this system or these systems come together a little later in the week. There is a front right now up in the Texas Panhandle. You can see the rain and thunderstorms that it is uh, generating. It won't be here for a couple of days, but guess when it gets here? Just about the time that this system, it doesn't look like much right now, but it has just reemerged. Uh, what was formerly Tropical Storm Harvey back in the Caribbean has just emerged into the Gulf of Mexico and the conditions out here in the Gulf waters are very favorable for development. And so the National Hurricane Center is projecting that there is at least a 90% chance that we're going to have Tropical Depression or Tropical Storm Harvey out here in the Gulf of Mexico by Thursday. Let me show you what some of the forecast models are doing. They're really kind of two schools of thought here. Either the storm uh, makes landfall somewhere around Corpus Christi, then comes up very near Austin, then possibly meanders around, or it takes a jog to the right and heads on up toward Houston Galveston. One of these scenarios could be particularly bad news for parts of central, maybe south central Texas. Coming up, we'll talk about when and where that landfall might be and then what happens. Model rainfall forecasts that are remarkable uh, right now and what the greatest threats of Harvey will be here locally.